Hi Namibia and welcome back to Flex. I'm Jeanette Delgart, your presenter for Flex. Now, for this month, we will be doing a series of wellness interviews with people from the public, with experts as well. And we will also be um, joining the 14-day mindful revolution that NHP is actually hosting with Mindful Revolution. So we will just be showing short clips on, on Flex and then you can have a look at it they uh, but yes you can actually view the whole thing on youtube um, so it will be under nhrs you can also search for mindful revolution and then you will find it there so they upload a video every single day to it so it's a 14 day series kind of thing cool so first up what we have ready for you is we will be talking to Corvus de Sosa now he has as I said uh, in the introduction he's one of the members of the public and he's currently at Virgin Active Gym now as you all know the gyms has closed have closed down so now we're just talking to him what he's doing to keep fit he is a hockey player and he is still at Vinduka High School what he well so we will we'll be talking to him about what he does to keep fit and also some motivation when you don't want to work out especially now that it's winter as well and then the series or that we're going to start with with uh, nhp they will also be talking about um, your motivation levels and what you can do to get your mental health on a point where you feel motivated to get out and do things because these times can be quite depressing and there will also be a bit of homework after the NHP video where you can just start journaling goals for your day, what you want to achieve during these times and not just during these times in your life, personally, physically. I mean, we all say that we want to exercise, we want to do this, but, you know, the time is just not always there or there's a thousand excuses. So, yeah, let's leave the excuses and start putting action to our dreams or what we want to accomplish cool guys so stay tuned for the interview and then we will head over to the video of NHB <laughs> Hi everybody, we are back with Kuobus de Sousa. Now he is part of a Virgin Active Kleiner Cooper gym and we will just be talking about how he feels about the fact that the gyms has closed and everything. Um, cool, Kuobus, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. So we're just going to uh, start right off. How do you feel about the fact that the gyms has closed? Um, okay, so obviously I'm a bit disappointed, um, especially with everything that's happening now in the world. Um, the gym was basically the only time of the day where we were actually allowed to go out of the house a bit. Um, but then again, safety is our number one priority. So it's better to stay at home now um, than going to the gym and risking getting COVID. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm disappointed. But for the safety, I think it's it's a better option mm. right now. Okay, and when you were at the gym, did you feel that um, the safety will become an issue or that you were close to the people to be exposed to get um, COVID? Um, not really. Uh, Virgin Active was actually very, very clean. Mm. Uh, the, like the premises were sanitized like constantly. Um, and before you use the equipment and everything you can also sanitize it by yourself um so i actually felt very safe yeah. there um but then again um it's a bunch of people together so you know the chances of spreading the virus and stuff may get worse so um but overall i actually felt relatively safe there okay cool and so currently you're at home now so what do you do to stay fit when you're not in the gym um <laughs> yeah see it's it's a bit of a struggle um but i actually play hockey for Ventuka high school um so our fitness instructor gave us a fitness program to stay fit during the uh lockdown okay. so basically it's just a 
different types of jogging and everything. So that's about the only thing I do now, go jogging about two days, of every two days, uh, so about three days a week, um, just to keep fit, keep the cardiovascular fitness at a high level. Okay, so there's no more muscle building and lifting heavy weights. <laughs> I know that uh, that is out for now. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a home gym or anything of that kind. So uh, that is out for now. But um, yeah, it's good to have a few race days at mm -hmm. least for a while. Um, two weeks is, is getting a bit long. So um, yeah, we're struggling to just sit at home the whole day. Um, but yeah, that's about it. The only thing I'm doing now is just fitness, not weightlifting. Right? Yeah. You had this kind of a cool transformation of building more muscle mass when you start or oh, when you were at the gym. Can you just walk us through what you did to, you know, gain that muscle mass, what it really takes to build muscle? Because I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. Can you walk us through that process? Yeah, so obviously it starts out with um, having your goal in mind. And my goal was just to put on more muscle, just get heavier, get bigger. Um, so I started off with getting a good program to work on because um, that's really important. And then your consistency and your hard work and your perseverance plays a big, big role. Because um, if you're not going to be consistent in the German, like going there, I went about four to five days a week and like if you don't have the consistency um, the progress is going to take much longer time to reach your goal and then there's a lot of external factors like um, what you do in the kitchen like what you eat that's also a really big um, role in building muscle and gaining weight so um, yeah we had to eat or I had to eat a lot um, to gain muscle as I had a very fast metabolism. So mm -hmm. everything got broken down really um, fast. So I had to eat a lot to um, just gain weight. But um, after you start seeing progress, like you're so motivated to keep on going back to the gym and stuff. And it, like, there's always the people that will doubt you that will like say, oh no, you're not gonna make it and stuff like that. But if you use the hate as yeah, I, if I can say that, um, yeah. you can use that as the motivation to they keep on reason. going back. And yeah, that really played a big role. Um, but then, like I also, like I said, I play hockey, so we had training as well. Um, so obviously, there were a few days that were just really tough with going to the gym. Or first, you go to school, then to the gym, then to hockey practice and stuff, and things just got a bit too much you know mm -hmm. um, but the yeah like I said consistency hard work and perseverance is the three things that I will say is the big pillars to building muscle yeah okay cool um, yes yeah, seeing that we are in the COVID-19 pandemic currently is there any health tip that you have for the public or maybe just to keep fit during these times keep the spirits high and to eat healthy as well yeah, the most important thing I will say is, you know, just to keep on eating healthy. Um, like I'm not saying go on a diet, you know, just but just try to consume less sugar and stuff like that. Keep healthy, keep active, um, and especially with what's happening now in our country, you know, just try to stay away from uh, people that you don't necessarily have to see, um, and just. Yeah, keep safe, you know, <laughs> social distance, keep your mask on. I think that's the most important things. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Kobus. Um, and I, I, I wish you all the best for your fitness journey at home. I know it can be difficult to always be motivated when you don't have the gym equipment. But thank you so much and all the best. Thank you so much for having me. Have a nice day as well. You too. You. Bye. Thank you.
Good morning all and thank you for joining us this morning um, on our first day of the 14 day mental health awareness series. I'm so pleased that you've joined us and we really look forward to an extremely exciting event. Uh, this morning I'd like to introduce our host uh, Mark Joseph who will be taking us through the first of the 14 days. Welcome Mark, great to see you. Wonderful to be here. I'm super excited about this campaign. <clears throat> well, it's a 14-day it's a campaign and um, to be able to be of benefit to Namibia and the Namibian people is just making me feel so happy right now. So thank you so much for, for um, uh, being such a big integral part of this campaign and all the work that you have put into it so far. <clears throat> I'm super proud of our partnership with Mindful Revolution and NHRS. And um, Dr. Ingrid, if I can just suggest one thing before we begin. Can we can we take three deep breaths? Let's do that. <laughs> All right, lovely. So when was the last time you took a breath? Uh, it's such it's such a storm. I said to somebody yesterday, it's like a big dark storm outside. And they, they looked out their window. They said, where? I said, no, no, I'm just being um, metaphorical, but <clears throat> it is it is very turbulent and we've been through a lot. When was the last time someone said, let's just take a deep breath? So sitting comfortably in your seat with your back nice and straight um, and your feet can just be on the ground. Let's just take three deep breaths. All right. Breathing in through the nose. And then slowly exhaling out the nostrils. And so many people are struggling to breathe with this virus. Let's breathe for them. Breathing in through the nose. And exhaling out the nose slowly with control. <clears throat> Deep breaths are like little love notes to your nervous system. And then again, let's take another big deep breath, breathing in. Filling those lungs, opening the mouth and just sighing that breath out. Just release all your worries and anxieties and fears. And just take a moment to just introspect, to check in with yourself today and see how you are feeling. And it's always good just to take a moment to look within and identify just what it is that you are feeling in this moment, because from there we can have some clarity. <clears throat> Maybe today is a good idea to take look after yourself more, to take more breaks. Or perhaps today is a day to have those difficult conversations or face those difficult things you need to face. It all depends on how you feel. Let's take in another deep breath. And slowly exhaling it out. Great, so the stress curve. And Dr. Ingrid, um, you're looking so calm and relaxed and peaceful with a big smile on your face. How are you feeling today? Thanks, Mark. I was just sitting here thinking that it's the spaghetti salad of emotions, you know, running through my body at the moment. And I think so many of us feel like that. You know, there's gratitude for being here. There's, you know, gratitude for being healthy at the moment. You know, that when you said, let's just breathe for those who can't, you know, the sadness, um, that collective sadness of so many people being ill, so many people, you know, having lost loved ones, so many people struggling at the moment. Um, and we feel that that collective, you know, fear and anxiety. And on the other hand, the excitement to actually be able to host this event. And I know my phone hasn't stopped ringing this morning of people who said, well, we can't join at 11, but can we join afterwards? And please do, you know, tell everyone about this and join the recordings afterwards. This is the time that we really need to work on our mental fitness. So feeling great to be part of this. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, yeah. And I like I love what you say, you know, this <clears throat> mental fitness. I mean, I know the founder of our business, Adrian Jacobs, he, he doesn't even like the word mental health. He says, no, 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 let's call it mental fitness, you know, because we believe that that many people think just like physical fitness produces physical health, that we can we can we can do things for our mind, like practices for our mind 
that, that help with our mental fitness. And, and people always say to me, you know, healthy body equals healthy mind. But I, I like to spin that around and say healthy mind equals healthy body. Because if we don't, if we're not feeling good and we're feeling down and we're feeling heavy, then we won't want to exercise, we won't want to eat right, we won't want to move. So I'd like to just say healthy mind does equal um, a healthy body. Dr. Ingrid, the big question really is why would we want to dedicate ourselves to this program? I mean, it's, you know, it's 14 days um, during the week. Why, why would we actually want to, to give up our time? Um, you know, it's 30 minutes every day. Why, what's, what's the, why what, for you? What do, what do you think it would be the benefits? Yeah, I think the, the, the benefit is that we want to start sharing in collective practices. I think so few of us really know how to look after our mental fitness. You know, I take myself, my go-to routine when I stress is to run. Because when I run, I don't have to feel anything. And when I don't have to feel anything, I can stay busy. And as long as I stay busy, I'm okay. But actually, that's so exhausting. And it's an exhaustible resource. And so many of us do that. You know, we'll hide and we'll run. Where dedicating ourselves to really checking in with how am I feeling today? What am I doing for my mental fitness? Developing a practice, something we can all do, you know, breathing. We can all, well, we can all breathe. As long as we're healthy, we can all breathe. We can all sit and we can relax. We can learn practices that will help us um, be stronger. And, you know, a lot of us, especially in the healthcare industry, most people are out there, we live for someone else too. We're there to help others. And we can only help others if our cup is full. You know, from an exhausted person, you cannot help somebody else. So this is really a practice about learning to look after yourself better. Take those 30 minutes. Let's learn these practices. Let's give ourselves time. And a lot of them you can do in the car while you're driving. You can, you can do breathing practices. And just learning to check in every now and then with ourselves how we're doing and how can we relax. And I think it's worth it. And I challenge everyone out there, let's join us for that half an hour. If you cannot join us at 11, you know, join us afterwards. It's available on the website. And let's get to practicing how to internalize this. And by doing that, we can do more for ourselves and for everyone around us. That brings us to the end of this show. Um, so we will be having another wellness interview on Friday and we will be speaking to Anarima Re. She is the winner of the Flex Award. So we'll just also be speaking about her journey, what she is currently doing as the first runner up and also what is she doing to keep fit during these times and not just to keep fit, but holistically to be healthy okay so stay tuned for that one as well on friday don't forget 5 30 for the wellness interviews and work out with us at 6 30 a.m that's it from me Jeanette Dilkarth and i will see you guys in the next flex episode